Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through the process of creating a Laura, which is incredibly useful if you're looking to create your own AI influencer, character Laura, or even just, we'll be focusing on building a Laura from scratch using a data set of images. First things first, let's talk about the data set. The key to a good Laura is a well-prepared data set. You'll need to create a dedicated folder to house all the images you'll be using for training. In my case, I've created a folder specifically for this project. Make sure the folder is easily accessible and that you know its exact location, as you'll need this information later. In this example, we're working with a data set of 54 images. The more images you have, generally, the better the LoRa will be, as it has more data to learn from. However, the quality of the images is just as important as the quantity. Ensure your images are clear, well lit. Next, you'll need an empty folder. This folder will be the destination for the process data set after we run it through a workflow. I'm going to create a new folder named Zaya2 to serve this purpose. This is where all the process data and prompts will be saved. Now, copy the file location of this newly created empty folder. We'll need this directory shortly. Next up, we're gonna open Comfy UI. I've prepared a simple workflow within Comfy UI specifically designed for creating data sets for LoRa training. I'll be providing this workflow for you to use, making the process even easier. The workflow is designed to take your raw images, process them, and generate corresponding prompts, all of which are essential for training Allura effectively. Once Comfy UI is open, copy the file path of your original image dataset folder into the first node of the workflow. This tells Comfy UI where to find the images you want to process. This node is responsible for loading all the images located in your specified directory. Now, paste the location of the empty folder, Zaya2, into the designated nodes within the Comfy UI workflow. This ensures that all the process images and generated prompts are saved to the correct location. Click OK to confirm the file paths. Ensure you do this for all nodes that require the output directory. The next step is to configure the captioning settings. You have a few options here. You can choose to use basic captions or more detailed prompts. If you have a set of more descriptive captions or prompts, now is the time to incorporate them. The choice is up to you and depends on the level of detail you want in your LoRa. With everything set up, it's time to run the workflow. Simply click the Run Workflow button and Comfy UI will begin processing your images and generating the necessary files you should see a message indicating that the image file is being saved to the new Zaya2 folder we created. Now, as you can see, we've encountered an error. It indicates a write protected path. This can happen due to permission issues. Don't worry, there's a simple fix. If you encounter this error, navigate to your Comfy UI installation directory, then go to Users, then Default. Open the extra Model Paths, not YAML file, with a text editor like Notepad. Add the directory path of your Zaya2 folder to this file. Save the changes and close the file. This essentially grants Comfy UI permission to write to that specific folder. After making these changes, it's crucial to close Comfy UI completely and restart it. You should see the text files being saved correctly this time. In my case, it took around 300 seconds to process the dataset using an RTX 4060. Processing time will vary depending on your hardware. Inside the Zaya2 folder, you'll now find the process images and corresponding text files. These text files contain the prompts or captions generated for each image. Now that we have our dataset prepared, we can move on to training the LoRa. For this, we'll be using Ostris's AI toolkit as it offers a straightforward and user-friendly approach to LoRa training. Simply click on New Dataset and give your dataset a name. So I'll write Zaya Images. And so there are no images found because we haven't uploaded anything. Okay, now you just copy your dataset right over here. I'm using the first one, so I'll just upload the zip file over here. 
You can do the normal also images and text file. You don't need a zip file. Okay, so it will take a few seconds to load and everything else. So as you can see, it's uploading all the pictures and the text file both. Okay, now I'll show you can see everything has been written. You don't have to do anything. This will recognize everything by itself. Now that the data set has been prepared, we'll go to new jobs. And over here, we'll first write or first choose the model. So we're gonna choose the new one, Z image D turbo. We'll use if you have a 3090 or anything like that, you can switch off that. So we're gonna write the training name first, whatever you want, then the trigger word. But first, whatever prompt you made before, like the text.txt file, you have to write the trigger word like this in the brackets. First, I'll give you an example. You have to write all the, sorry, I didn't write in this one, but you can understand what I'm trying to say. Bracket Zaya like this. And now let's go to the rank. So the default rank will be 32. I'm gonna change it to 128. 126, sorry, because that will give us much better results for detailed LoRa's. So you can choose whatever you want. It's up to your PC. If you have low VRAM, stick to 32. First, we're gonna do 4,000 steps. You can pause it as well. So we're gonna keep everything like this. So you're on the data set. You can choose any resolution. I'm gonna use 1536X1280. These four, okay, and over here, you have to write the default prompts that you want. For example, when the training is being generated. So these will be the prompts. You write any prompt you want with Zaya as the trigger word as well. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a few prompts that I'm gonna write. So over here, I'll apply this one. And I'm gonna choose the same over here as well. I've created this from ChatGPT, as you can see, Zaya Hyper Realistic Studio Photo then just paste it over your default. I'm gonna choose one more. So in one of my prompts, I'll change it to first. Let me just show you guys this. So over your width, I'll change it to 1,280. And over here, I'll change it to 1,280 as well, because we are training on a high resolution and we need to find the exact or the examples that's gonna be generated with the same width and length. And over here, also 1,536. For one example, okay, just see if the LoRa is being trained properly. If you wanna know the advanced settings, you can just click over here and always see the Python version over here. So as you, okay, now it's floated, keep everything normal, if you have very low VRAM, you can change float 16 to lower. That will help with VRAM, okay? And the data type, everything should be good. So now just create a job and it will make it happen. So I'm using NVIDIA RTX of 4,050 inches, this one. And that is it. So I've just played the LoRa. So as you can see over here, this all will first download if you haven't downloaded the Python Diffusion by Torch or everything else. So it will take a few time depending on your internet speed and all. So a few steps have been trained. And this is the example that we want from this. This is the zero steps to this is the 250 steps. So this is 500. So the face is changing because the photo is being trained. And this is 1000 to 1050 steps. Yours 1000 steps you can see all the examples, depending on the steps you wanna enter. Okay, when you're comfortable that, yes, I want these steps, you can just pause it and close the workflow and download the LoRa. When everything is done, you can see, go to the dashboard. Let me show you guys the dashboard and was on the right-hand side. You can see the checkpoints. So it's written 500, 750, 1000, 1,250 steps, everything right over here. So I'll just download this. If you're not satisfied, you can just turn it on again and everything will start happening. 
So I've done 2,500 steps as well. As you can see, this is 2,000. Okay, so we're using the D turbo model again. So this is the video for how to train your LoRa for a Z image. So if you guys like this video, then please do like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.